topic of members in good standing typically only comes up once a year, and that is typically around the annual meeting. Not being in good standing usually revolves around three aspects of a member's obligation to the homeowners association. First, are they delinquent in paying their assessments? Second, are they in violation of the governing documents? Third, are they in litigation with the homeowners association? The association's governing documents may have provisions addressing a member in good standing and what uh, constitutes that status. Many times, uh, these provisions will uh, specifically restrict members who are not in good standing from participating in the annual meeting or use of the amenities. To determine whether the association can suspend a member's uh, privileges, uh, the bylaws are the first governing document uh, to uh, review. The heading or term may vary, however, member in good standing or words to that effect is usually what is utilized. Good standing language will vary, however, it will typically be similar to a member shall be considered to be in good standing when they are current with their homeowners association dues, not in violation of the governing documents, and are not in litigation with the homeowners association. Some association governing documents may offer very detailed good standing language while others may not address standing at all. Unfortunately, the term good standing is ambiguous and has no legal meaning or basis. Typically meaning, unless there is very specific and detailed governing document language, uh, enforcing these sanctions against a member can be problematic. When the language of the member in good standing is vague or does not offer enough detail, the association's attorney should be consulted. If the association's uh, governing documents fail to address the issue, amending the governing documents may be the only viable option. The association's attorney should be consulted on amending the governing documents as well. If governing documents uh, language is void of member uh, member good standing language. State statutes may offer uh, remedies to address this uh, issue as well. Even when the association's governing documents have specific language addressing a member's uh, standing, state statutes need to be reviewed. State statutes could possibly require additional steps that must be taken before a member's uh, rights and privileges can be suspended. For example, in the state of North Carolina, before a member's uh, privileges and, and rights can be suspended within the association, a, they must be, have the opportunity to be called to a hearing before the board of directors. No matter the status of a member, in good standing or not, they still must be notified of the annual meeting. Members not in good standing may have the right to attend the membership meeting, but not participate. It is a common practice for members not in good standing to be mailed along with the annual meeting notice, the steps they must take to be allowed to participate in the annual meeting and return to a good standing status.